you clicked on this video because you want to know how to get better at Untitled Boxing Game. Well, you are in luck because I was top number five on the ranked leaderboard, and I also have an alt account on there as of right now that I won't say because I don't want it to get banned. But first things off, you need to pick a fighting style you are personally good at. Everyone plays differently, and everybody is good with different styles, so find your style you feel the best playing. Keep grinding that style and getting used to it to try to aim to be the best with that style you've chosen. Now, I'll show you all the in-fighter styles here, all the outboxer styles here, and all the hybrid styles here. Meaning that these styles can be played as both an in-fighter and an outboxer. Now, these are the best styles in the game as of right now, and I honestly don't see it changing soon at all. Slugger is 100% the best style in the game because of its non pdable M2s, meaning it's the only attack in the game to where you literally can't perfect dodge it. Its M2 also has two different M2 timings, which can be used to throw your opponents off. It has fast M1s and has crazy anti-heal when hitting your opponents with your M1s. Slugger also has a great dash. Now for freedom. It's a hybrid style because of its three different fighting styles you can switch between. So you can be an outboxer or an infighter using freedom. Every time you perfect dodge, you can switch to smash for a free smash M2 without fail. You can also switch to flicker mode and M1 whenever to catch him off guard. And finally, you can switch to whirlwind mode to gain the ability to sway back like Hawk and have fast dashes. Which, not gonna sugarcoat it, but any style that can use a swayback dodge is automatically in the top styles. Because of how absurdly easy it is to perfect dodge when using swayback. Now for Hawk. Self-explanatory for the swayback dodge, but it also has bloodlust and ecstasy, which makes your M1s way faster to catch your opponents off guard. And it has very good anti-heal when you M1 them. Just remember to always M1 using Hawk and never M2 unless you are fainting or you perfect dodge and you have like no stamina for M1 to really even do anything. Next is Kimura. Now Kimura just recently got a speed M1 buff and can slow down your opponent tremendously if you M1 them a lot. Then after maybe say like two M1 chains, they will be so slow they won't be able to dodge your M1s. And if they somehow do, it won't be a perfect dodge, I can say for certain. So you can just put them in a corner of a ring and just M1 spam them and they can't really do anything except go for a counter. So just be careful of a counter if you're bullying with Kimura. Next is hands low. Now the reason I'm putting hands low up here is because if it's insane dash speed, it's part of a group of styles with the fastest M1s in the game. It also has a fast M2 and does counter damage, meaning if you counter your opponent, it will do more damage than just hitting them regularly. Now finally Ippo. If you are a good end fighter, then Ippo might just be your pick. Its aggressiveness is absurd if you know how to use it right. Its Dempsey roll pretty much just grants you immunity if you can use it right. Also has two different M1 unlike most styles so it's harder to PD and its M2 is awkward timing so your opponent can get confused if you go all out on them using everything Epo has at its disposal. Now to get better at an entitled boxing game you need good reaction time obviously so I suggest going to human benchmark and playing the reaction time game. My average reaction time is between 135 and 145 so see if you can beat my score while training your reaction time. Next is ping. Now, I know people don't want the cold hard truth, but you need to have at least 80 ping or below to be able to compete with the higher ranked players in this game. Sadly, this game is pretty ping based, so just keep that in mind when you feel like you're good, but your ping is holding you back. Now, to improve your ping, I will strongly suggest getting an ethernet cable. It will improve your ping drastically. I will be suggesting a Cat8 ethernet cable as it's cheap and can handle up to 2000 megabytes per second, which... Gonna be honest, unless you live at a NASA headquarters, you are not going above that. Also, what a lot of pro players in this game, including myself, use is a high hertz monitor. I have a 240 hertz monitor that I got for pretty cheap, so if you have a high hertz monitor, you can see your opponents move smoother and quicker than, say, a 60 hertz monitor would. Now, keep in mind, you do not need these things to be good at this game. These are just things that can help you and improve your skill quicker. The main thing you should be working on is to find your style your best at and grind to be the best at it. Sure, it may be boring to play one style 24-7, but it's really the only way to improve and to conquer the rank scene. Once you play this game a lot, soon you'll be able just to turn off your brain and play any style you want and be good at it. But until then, good luck, and I wish on your improvement and untitled boxing.